Two Montgomery city leaders will soon launch a reading initiative. It's part of an effort to focus on reading standards in our state ahead of the mandated Literacy Act reading policy that will soon be in place. Joining us live with more is Councilor Aronde Mitchell. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Let's talk about this initiative. What inspired you to start this? I know reading is so important for our children. So me having an educational background, I have a uh, master's degree in early childhood. Um, so I taught pre-K, second grade, and third grade. So I knew that my, the kids that I was teaching had a low score and four-day benchmark on the STAR reading program. So I wanted to do something to get them to the benchmark because they need to be at that benchmark according to this Literacy Act, and we don't want to hold children back. We want them to reach their full potential. How would this help them? So what it does, so what we did, we took three schools in my district, which is Fitzpatrick, Peter Crump, and Brubaker Primary. Um, we looked at their star reading, and we took those students that was on um, moderate reading sc scores for as a benchmark, and so we said, hey, listen, if we can do reinforcement, if we can get them to come out on Saturday, we can help them reach a benchmark. So that's what our idea was. Because these kids can do. Yes. Sometimes they just need a little extra help, and that's what this Saturday's about. This yes. Saturday help is about. What will they get? So what, what they'll do, they will, so Dr. Brown, the superintendent, allowed us to bring the Chromebooks. So with that Chromebooks, they actually have opportunities to work on star reading. Um, they will do sight words. They will do reading comprehension. Um, but the biggest thing is they are, are going on a field trip. Um, Dr. Brown allowed us to use the Montgomery Public School System buses, so they have three hubs. They are picked up, so the first thing they, they do is think, hey, I'm going on a field trip. Mm -hmm. So they're excited, they're happy, and that's how we get them to open up. And so it was real good that we partnered with Trenum, um, Dr. Chambers, and so the first thing that those students said, hey, I'm finna go to college. And so that's what we want. We want all our students to be ready to go to college. You're inspiring them. Y yes, I'm trying my best. And they are, they are getting motivated to give more. If people are pouring into them, they are more likely to pour into themselves as well. Yes, ma'am. So give us the details. How many students are allowed to participate? So right now we have 75 students, 25 from each, um, each school. Um, we also selected two teachers from each school and a reading instructor. So those classrooms are small. Um, each class have 13, one teacher and an instructional aid. So we can make sure that we have those small groups that we need in that one-on-one -on -one teaching. We know that one-on-one -on -one teaching is so important, especially when you're trying to help children reach that benchmark. Have you seen some success already in your area? Yes, anytime a teacher comes out and say, hey, it's time for us to leave already, that's, that's showing a lot um, because the doors was closed and I could still hear them teaching outside the doors. Anytime a, a, a student call you or a parent call you and say, I want my child a part of this program, you know you're doing something right. How can parents get their children part of this program? So you must attend those three schools, Fitzpatrick, Peter Crump, or Brubaker Primary, and just reach out to your, your principal. Um, your principal have the, that data that we need to select those students that needs to be in the program. Do you hope to expand this? I know 75 students right now, but there are so many more across the city, across the state, who need this support as well. So would you love to see this expanded? Oh, man. This is just a pilot program. Um, hopefully, uh, when we do our, our monitoring, that we can show the growth. And once we show the growth, I hope that the state, um, the superintendent, and also the mayor will see how successful this is and will help us. More people will start pouring into it. More yes. people will start investing. What's your overall goal with this? What's your hope? Uh, my hope is to move those second graders on reading level uh, because we know that once they get behind, uh, the chances of them dropping out of school are, are great. And I want to make sure that those students are on the right path. Yeah, it takes two years to make up for one year of learning loss. So once they get behind, it's hard to catch up. Yes. And that's why it's so important to get this extra education outside the classroom, yes. outside the normal school hours. Yes. Give us the details one more time. So what it is is a Saturday school, um, second Saturday of each month. Uh, we run from February to May um, at Trenum. And like I said, it's from 8.30 to 10.30. Uh, we feed them breakfast and also give them a snack as they get back on the bus. Thank you so much. This Thank is more than education. I know it's building confidence yes. in them and we're going to see this hard work pay off in our community. Yes, we appreciate it. Thank you.